recycled air. Just isn't the same as the real thing. Explain the brownouts. So, what's this? Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. Look at this place. 
I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. It's depressing. Hey, you looking for anything in particular? Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Oh man, no, I'm still new here, so I don't know how qualified I am to answer that. We're like this huge network of shipping and trade throughout the known universe. Everyone. Free stars, UC, even Varun uses us in some capacity. Because I guess we're all about free trade for all. <laughs> Yo, I wouldn't be surprised if we bought and sold from the Crimson Fleet, right? They pay my salary, so as far as I'm concerned, they're all right in my book. Man, sorry, I can't really say that. Really, they told me not to say anything like that because rumors, you know? All I know is that we're running a business here, and I was told to take in all trades and sell whatever we've got. <laughs> and listen, I'm not gonna worry about anything other than that. Yo! This dude came in once trying to sell this whack looking fish or something. It was still alive. He had it in this big plastic bag full of water and everything. Good size, too. I was trying to tell him I didn't know if we took in things like that, but then my boss came over and told me we absolutely did. And I had to process the sale and store the thing. <laughs> Man, what a pain in the ass that was. Even weirder, someone came in and bought it like right away. The hell's that about, right? Cool. That's what we do here. Yo, stay good out there. Invoices can be collected from the... Oh. Not here for a delivery, are you? Do you know? Well, I do wish I could help you, Captain, but Dr. Walker has been missing for some time. A shame, too. We had such high hopes for Percival. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological consulting around the city. Not the sort of work the Trade Authority traditionally does, but we thought it had the potential to become a whole new type of revenue stream for our branch. I invested no small amount of personal capital into the endeavor. But then he decided to run off after a... discipline issue. I presume the miners have him hidden somewhere. <laughs> Plenty of cracks on this old rock. But at this point, it's probably for the best. Dr. Walker decided to start brewing and selling his own pharmaceuticals to our customers, below cost. Something his contract expressly forbade. As such, we requested our cut of the profits and began garnishing his salary. Perhaps a little too severely, but well within legal limits. It was around then that he ran off, abandoning his duty and his unpaid accounts. That's correct. We're no longer interested in Dr. Walker's services. He did leave his post, however, with a sizable debt to his name. If you were to find him and get him to pay, the Trade Authority would be most grateful for it. Oh, I loathe the Trade Authority. Is it absolutely necessary that we have to help them? Oh, I can't believe you're helping them. What a stupid waste of time. Wonderful. I suggest paying a visit to the Sixth Circle, what I suppose is technically a bar on the lowest level of the city. If anyone knows where Percival is, the miscreants there would. But I would urge caution. They're not a group known for their hospitality. Be advised to secure this article and find the
Tomorrow's the same. Day is great, they say. So's the crippling depression. In five, four, three, one. Found a clutch of heat beaches breeding in the utility Particle section the other day. Broken spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. This bar is for devil's vets and their kin. Doc Walker? You're barking up the wrong... Why don't you come here and tell me what some stray wants with Walker? Not every day a stray topsider wanders into my bar claiming they know people. What do you want with Dr. Walker? Uniform certainly looks real enough. Well then, Captain. I expect you should have no problem answering a few simple questions about the Vanguard, right? Like knowing, for example, what Supra et Ultra means. You remember your Vanguard motto, hmm? Hmm, I see. And tell me, what grade was it you got on your entrance exam? A? C? D plus? That... is right. All right, Captain. Maybe you are who you say you are. But look, even if I decided I was going to help you get in contact with Dr. Walker, Percival made himself scarce for a reason. His debt to the Trade Authority. But if someone resolved that debt, well, Percival wouldn't have to hide anymore. Can bet that person would make a friend out of Percival, and the rest of us devils. And I'm always inclined to help a friend. Red Devils were the meanest marine unit the UC Navy ever had. Couldn't get in if you hadn't done at least one stint as a Martian Dusty. Made us tough. Reliable. It's why they chose us as the handlers for the UC Xeno weapons. No other unit could handle that pressure. Percival, though, he wasn't a grunt like all of us. Science officer. Made sure the monsters behaved themselves around the Devils and didn't with everyone else. But it was those monsters that did us in. When the colony war ended and the armistice came down, everything associated with Xeno weapons got shelved, Red Devils included. Now, ah, now they're just a memory. Me? Nah, infantry officer. But my grunts deployed alongside the things. Never seen anything like it, before or since. Monsters from the darkest corners of the Black rampaging across the battlefield. And understand why they banned them. Brutal. Armistice hurt us more than most, but... Wow. Wasn't all bad that came out of that agreement. 
Well, most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just saunter up to the authority and pay him direct, if you've got credits to throw away. Of course, rumor is the trade authority keeps all their records and collections files on a central server inside their storeroom. If someone was to break in there and adjust Percival's debt to something a little more reasonable, say, a few hundred credits, I'd be happy to cover the costs. Making that adjustment would be illegal. I don't think this is a road we should travel. And, uh, one soldier to another. Sidonia's full of old utility tunnels and crawl spaces. Wouldn't be surprised if there was one that let out right into the Authority storeroom. Say, with an entrance behind the bar at the Broken Spear. Ooh, and you might need these. And I look forward to hearing the good news. Get out of my face. Pardon? Yes, what? Heard you talking with Lou, so you're going to help Dr. Walker? Oh, <laughs> no, I, I mean, I've got my suspicions, but look, you're planning to help Percival, right? Yeah, sure, sure. Listen, I know how you can do it without having to resort to any... B and E. Aqueous hematite. Mars is full of it. People think it's just garbage. But Percival and I, we've been working on some... projects in the deep mines. At least when he wasn't slaving away at his trade authority contract. But we stumbled on a way to make it useful and profitable. You give our research over to Octai at the Trade Authority, it should more than cover Percival's debt. That guy's always looking for an angle. Oh, I'm Cambridge. I was Percival's assistant. Well, apprentice, really. Couldn't work in the mines anymore, so he gave me a job helping with some of his side projects. Know his experiments inside and out, and I know this one was gonna be big. It's mostly iron in about three centuries of human water runoff, though only Percival would be able to tell you all the trace elements and whatnot. But it builds up around human settlements, and something about the Martian soil changes it, it makes it into something new, and we think we found a use for it. No, 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 no. Well, yes, but, but the medical kind. I'd help him make whatever the city was running low on that month, and we'd sell it to the miners for cheap. But the Trade Authority got wind and wanted their cut. And then some. Well, yeah. We were never able to finish the research. Spacers moved in and ran us out. Started setting up shop. Oh dear. I believe I see where this is leading. But if you can clear them out, I can walk you through how to finish the research. Then you can give it over to the Trade Authority. They'll get folks working in the deep mines again. Jobs come back, I become a modern-day folk hero. <laughs> then I don't have to sleep on an inflated spacesuit anymore. Ugh, a bunch of parasites and cutthroats. They're folks from the fringes of space, willing to put down anyone who tries to move in on what they've decided is theirs, even when it ain't. Strange this group would pick Mars as a new home. Sure, we're not downtown New Atlantis, but there are places where they'd be bothered less than here. My guess is the Authority tipped them off when they heard we were working down there. It cut off what they thought was the competition, you know? <sighs> Biggest employer on Mars has always been Deimos Star Yards. After the Colony War, Armistice meant they needed a lot fewer warships. Fewer ships meant fewer minerals. That meant a lot of folks scrounging for work around here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So access to the deep mines can be found outside the city. It's not far. Shouldn't even need to hop back in your ship. 
we'd set up right near the main drill. Taking out the spacer leader should get the message across to the rest of them to buzz off. Once you've managed that, phone up here on the comms panel, and I can walk you through finishing the research. Devils aren't exactly your average bar crowd. You can see it in their eyes. We don't belong here. On individual you know, items, right? they're bundled. Might want to head on over to Reliance. Dr. Flynn will get you patched up. Deluxe condos aren't anything special, but plenty of people call them. Those visitors can't wait to get off this rock. Did you know Deimos makes the majority of the ships for the UC Navy? If you ask me, that's a hell of a lucrative contract. straightforward way. Of course, rumor is the trade authority keeps... If someone was to break in there and adjust birth... Making that adjustment would be illegal. I don't think this is a road. And, uh, one soldier to another. Sidonia's full of old utility tunnels and crawl spaces. Wouldn't be surprised if there was one that let out, say, with an entrance behind the bar at the Broken Spear. Ooh, and you might need these. Now, what say?
that warning Glaxon still startles me every time.
anything valuable? Want to see what I'm carrying?
Looks like we're in the clear.
with all this old drilling equipment left here to run. Not surprising, though. The mining lasers don't make the machine. to haul. I'm happy to help. Until later.
finish off the research, you're gonna need to collect a sample of hematite to run through the thresher. Grab a laser cutter and head back to the chamber where you came in. Once you've got a sample, thresher's the big machine in the next room. Passcode to start it is Ares 2330. Take care of all that, and we'll have Percival's name cleared in no time. Wonder where this will all lead. All right, but be careful. It's been a long time since I... Sounds good. Lead on. Sidonia is an ind... Glad to haul whatever you... Bye for now.
I've got the slate. Let me see. Reduced joint wear? Oh, increased lifting capacity? A dose of this stuff could make a miner way more efficient. This formula's gotta be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. Okay, so here's what you do. Tell Octai and the Trade Authority you found a business proposal that will make miners more efficient, higher yield, synergy, you know, all that business crap. And that you'll trade it to him for clearing Percival's debt. You good at doing pitches and stuff like that? You can try if you feel confident, but I didn't want to push our luck. Besides, if that drug gets big, I think everyone benefits. So, you think you can sell them on it? Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, and here, a copy of the formula for yourself, in case you ever want to try maximizing your own industrial output. Oh, use that if you can. Good luck. Was there something else? I don't recall the exact figure off the top of my head, but with the interest that's accrued, it's something substantial. If you're feeling charitable, I'd be happy to look it up for you. Hmm. I'm never one to turn away an opportunity. But I'd be curious what you think you've uncovered in the Martian market that others have missed. Aqueous hematite, iron and wastewater. Well, I'm not surprised no one has proposed something like this before. And exactly what does this new drug of yours do? Sounds like it could be useful if the data backs up your claims. But where's this hematite coming from? The active mines would be too expensive to retool. The deep mines could be an option. But they're full of spaces, or so I've heard. Well now, that is intriguing. A completely untapped resource pool, and the sort of utility every mining firm in Sidonia would be clamoring to get their hands on. We could contract out all the actual lab work. Bring on one of the hungrier mining concerns for materials. The licensing fees alone. And think what it would do for our image with the general populace. This mine. Reopened. Thanks to the Martian Trade Authority. Very interesting indeed. And what do you want for the rights to this drug? This is a promising fine, certainly. I can see us granting a generous finder's fee in exchange for handing it over. Was that it? Dr. Walker's debt. Consider it cleared. Well, it would seem we have a deal then. Here, your finder's fee. We'll just be taking that slate before you have any second thoughts. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Captain. The Office of Governor Hurst would like to remind all Sidonia citizens to do their part to keep Sidonia clean. Did you know, 
Fine work. My end of the bargain then, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devil's HQ. The place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit, but we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. I was also going to warn you about spaces down there, but it sounds like you might have already tossed those drakes. Here, the passkey. And I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down. engineer could make heads or tails of this chaotic collection of drilling machinery.
Alfred with the trade authority. Can't say I don't appreciate it. But I doubt you came all this way just to do me a favor. Now you want to explain to me why you're going around harassing the various old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? Adrian sent you. She's... Did... Did she look okay? A Terramorph. She's fortunate to be alive at all. Hope you two had plenty of backup. So what's this she had you bring all the way down here after putting you in harm's way? Adrian said that, huh? If she made you come all the way for this... Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. Gonna ask you to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here. I wasn't expecting guests. Oh, and Lou mentioned how you took care of the dead. Can't say I'm thrilled the Trade Authority got their mitts on the research, but I guess that's the price you pay not to live in a cave the rest of your days. All queued up. Let's gaze into this abyss, shall we? All right, just get those cellular markers tagged. Wait, where are the markers? This, this can't be right. This sample, it's Londinian. I'll, I'll need to get this all in a slate. Hadrian really gave you this sample. You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Can't just humor an old man, huh? This sample, it's got all the indicators of the worst Terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. It was a city wiped completely off the map by Terramorphs. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talzetti. This specimen, it grew there. Faster than any Terramorph should. Which means... If we're about to start a new era in human terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not going to end well for humanity. It would be the end of us as a species. So you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? Music to my ears. Here, faster we take the lift to the servants. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going.
you see this entertaining the notion of xeno warfare angers me to the core down here. hassling yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Lou said we could use the back. Lou gave me the abridged version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. That's... well, that's certainly not what I was expecting you'd have to go through. But thank you. I'm just glad you both came through intact. So, were you two able to get that workup together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian? That's... that's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news, that's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that workup. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's going to take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti. With both of us. The Cabinet's the UC's highest governing body. The President, top military brass, scientific and diplomatic division heads. Any major decision the UC makes goes through them. They're the only real chance we've got of unlocking the archives. So without their blessing, we're flying blind. Well, when the colony war came to a close 19 years ago with the signing of the armistice, three factions were involved in the negotiations. The UC, Freestar, and House Varun. They made a lot of decisions about what sort of tactics should and shouldn't be permitted in future conflicts. All information related to the things they decided should be... banned... 
was locked away in the archives. Now, it's possible to get things out of there, but only with the agreement of members from all three factions. And as to what our research is doing in there, well, I'll get to that. Well, that's about the best news I've had all day. But before you commit, I want to make sure you know the whole story. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists, ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out, that was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. Well, it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground, but the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the Colony War. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the Cabinet to help us access that data, It'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. I mean, I hope they will, given the evidence we've acquired. But getting the Freestar Collective and House Varun on our side, that won't be easy. Since neither group is exactly on great terms with the UC at the moment, for various reasons. Exactly. It's going to mean negotiations and deals and plenty of diplomatic legwork to see this through. But I don't see a better option to solving what's going on here. So it's gonna be up to us to get them on board. That's all I'm asking. Thank you. Now I need to get this work up in the Cabinet's hands. Once that's done, I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are gonna need it. <laughs> 